Here's an example of the Cayley-Hamilton theorem over a finite field. So I'll let A be equal to the three by three matrix, one, two, 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 zero, one, one, three, four, with entries in the finite field Z mod five. We wanna verify Cayley-Hamilton theorem for this matrix. And we wanna find one plus A inverse using the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Now, Cayley-Hamilton theorem states, we have A, an n by n matrix with entries in a field F. We form the characteristic polynomial of A. So that's a monic polynomial of degree n with coefficients in our field. If we form the matrix polynomial by replacing lambda with A, multiplying the constant term by the identity matrix, then this expression is equal to the zero matrix. Now, in our case, we're working over the finite field Z mod five. So for addition, it's like we're working on a clock with only five labels. And when we multiply, we'll have multiplicative inverses for the non-zero elements. So it's worth noting four times four is one, two times three is one. Now, if we form the characteristic polynomial, we'll have determinant of lambda i minus a. So we're gonna take the determinant, this three by three matrix here, and we can use our trick of multiplying down the diagonals. So we'll multiply down the diagonals to the right, take the sum, and then subtract off what we get when we multiply down the diagonals to the left. When we work that out, since we're over Z mod five, we get lambda cubed. So to verify Cayley-Hamilton, I wanna show that A cubed is equal to the zero matrix. So I work out A squared, and then we see when we work out A cubed, out comes zero. For the next part, we wanna find the inverse of I plus A using the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So we have A cubed is equal to zero. We'll take our inspiration from power series. So the geometric power series, we'll have one plus x plus x squared, and so on. This series will converge when the absolute value of x is strictly less than one, and then it converges to one over one minus x. If we replace x with minus x, we'll have one over one plus x equal to one minus x plus x squared minus x cubed, and so on. So we'll apply this formula. So I'm gonna replace x with the matrix A, and then we'll see if we can make sense of that. Now, if we put A in for x, okay, we're just gonna have our series, and we know, because we have A cubed equal to zero, that A to the fourth is zero, A to the fifth is zero, and so on. So the only terms that'll survive will be I minus A plus A squared. If we work out each of those terms, compute the sum, we get this matrix here. Now, I'll compute I plus A to get this matrix, and then I just check our work by multiplying. So when we take the product, we get the identity matrix, and that's our check.